Okay, body mount kits. We have a couple options for body mount kits and uh, wanted to explain the differences and, and a little bit of instruction on how to use them. But uh, there's, there's two kits available. Um, one is a standard kit, which um, would, just to kind of give you a brief rundown, these, these plates would, um, the, the holes in here, you would drill and Clico these to the body and the Clicos are those little uh, removable um, spring-loaded uh, bits that go in here to, with a pair of pliers and that, that expands and locks this in. So you can drill an eighth inch hole. You can fasten these on the inside of the body at the back and at the front of the quarter. And then um, from the chassis to the tube, you would fit this and then weld that to the center of that plate. So, so on this chassis here, like if there was a body on here, this pin would look like this. And then there'd be another one in the center here and you'd have a center pin here. And then you'd also have one down here lower. And then we always try to put one uh, right up here at the uh, front of the quarter behind the back of the door. That's what these little sharp tubes are for is to go right here. So, like I said, these are, these are gonna weld to that. You're gonna just tack that to it while the body's on there. And then you can pull the Clecos out and, uh, and finish doing, doing the final welding and grinding on them. These are the, uh, what we would use at the front and the rear for roof mounts. Um, this is gonna be like um, two of these at the windshield tube and two of these at the main hoop. Will be cut and fit sometimes around a little angle. This this would go to the body. This would the legs would go to the chassis, and then this would be epoxied on after uh, when you're ready to put the body on permanently. We make the bodies mount um, on the chassis permanently. We don't make them removable. But then we have we have a, a kit we call it a bolt-on kit. And we'll, what happened was is uh, about 10 years ago I was uh, we were mounting these just like I was telling you with the weld on. And we would drill holes in the body, and then we would uh, we would get inside there, and we would tack fit the tubes and tack them on to this plate. Well, a couple things happened there. These um, you're you're drilling holes in the body, and then you're also tacking on this uh, plate here, and you have to put three or four tacks on it so when you take the body off, it stays in place. But that would get the uh, the body very hot right there, and uh, especially on these thin carbon bodies. Uh, you'll see a little bit of a distortion in the in the in the outer gel coat and, and resin area of the body and what happens is when you take it to paint that gets fixed uh, gets repaired over but inevitably it shows back up it, it, it always shows back up once the car's done and you get it out in the sun and you run it a little bit paint starts shrinking the heat from being outside starts changing the shape of the body and I started seeing these holes showing back up and a little bit of distortion right around here. And it was minor. I mean, it was just this really um, uh, very, very slight imperfection, but I didn't like it. So I told my guys, I'm like, uh, all right, no more holes in the bodies. We're not drilling any holes in the body. We're not doing any anything to manipulate the outside of the body so that when we send it to paint, we have a nice cherry finish of gel coat to deal with. and. Um, it made a huge difference in the outcome of the uh, of the painted car when it's done. So, so to do that, it's just a little. It's it's a couple more steps. But instead of um, uh, welding to this plate, this kit's going to come with the tabs, and we're going to fasten a tab to this plate before we put it on the car. So we'll you know we'll set these up in advance, and we're going to weld this. Let's say right here, and then. We're gonna have um, a little clevis that's gonna go on here, and then a bolt to go through here, okay? All right, so that's gonna go through there. So what happens is this tubing is uh, uh, 058 wall, and it's made to slip on here. It's got a little burr in it, but that's how that goes. So what you're gonna have now is something that looks like this or like that depending on which way you turn it on the body but that's how it's going to do it so what we're going to do is we're going to weld this tab onto this plate in advance and get that grinding all done and, and make sure that the back of it's smooth and then when we're ready to put it on the body when we're ready to mount it instead of drilling holes in the outside of the body and mounting it in this location we're going to uh, make a few marks inside that body and we're going to uh, tape these in place just just put them up in there and put a two inch tape down each side and kind of get them where you want them get them lined up get them all straight and then you can just scribe around that plate 
once you've got a location for all three of them and, and then pull them out of there go ahead and, and grind the, the back side of this rough it up with like uh, some uh, some 30 grit or some, something that's pretty rough uh, give it a nice rough finish and then do the same thing the inside of the body take a little bit and abrade that inside of that uh, carbon or fiberglass body use some uh, structural epoxy we have the, it available on our website too but it's a two-part structural epoxy put some epoxy on the back of this thing stick it in place where you've scribed it there and then tape it put a couple pieces of tape on it and let that stuff kick off it only take about 10 minutes for it to get solid enough to hold that in place now what you've got is a plate on the inside of the body it's got this tab on it all right and so what what you do then is instead of fitting this tube to the plate and welding on it we're going to fit this tube with this clevis on it so now we're going to look something like this okay and what that gives us the ability to do during construction is obviously we can pull these bolts out and take the body on and off you're going to have the body on and off the car 20 or 30 times while you're building it just fitting things and, and uh, uh, checking take the body off do some welding put the body back on so during that whole time you'll have these plates fit up there now they're not going to have any holes either it's going to sit on these but in the back you'll just pull these bolts out slip the uh, body out from the tabs and then uh, slide it off so now we've kind of mounted the the back of this body and these plates then will be permanently attached with the epoxy but just like we do here after we've got everything mounted and we've got the body off and we're doing some final prep we're going to uh, uh, grind this surface here we're going to rough this up and rough this plate up on this side and then we're going to uh, lay some epoxy and some carbon over this and then a little peel ply on top of that and and sandwich that plate in between that carbon and then epoxy on the back and the body so now we've got this this plate securely fastened to the inside of that body and that in turn now gives a nice smooth finish on the outside you have no holes you don't have any kind of uh, warpage from the weld or the tack that got too hot or anything like that so now your your body guy is going to be happy because he's not going to have to work all those spots and try to flatten that out and make something out of it after you have kind of distorted it a little bit so it's a really nice kit uh, we haven't had it available before we've been using it in the shop uh, for for 10 years at least but uh, my guy said hey we need to make this a kit and uh, and sell it on the website so i thought that's it's really a good idea because it it really does make a big difference with all those mounting points on the body so you've got you know three on each side back here one here at the quarter a couple on the back on the roof here a couple up front there so by the time you mess around with all this stuff and and get those areas hot and drill some holes in them you got a lot of spots to fix so when you're done with this particular mount the body will be just as nice as it was when it came out of the box